Ah, there we go. It's muted. Okay, here we are trying out a new game. This is called Litho Break. Um, I don't know the name. Well, you know, let's look up the name of the developer real quick. Uh, they are called... Uh, let's go to the store page. Let's see, Tau Seti Labs. And from what I can tell, it is just one guy. Um, I've watched one of their developer bit videos and it is literally one guy. As you can see, I bought the game. I figured, I mean, there's no one else that's even done a review on it. And it came out today. And I'm always happy to support an indie developer if they're trying something that's a cool new idea and they're by themselves. And you never know, maybe it's gonna be an awesome game. Maybe it'll suck. Well, I don't know, I hope not. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be cool. I've seen a little bit of preview of it and it looks pretty interesting. So uh, enough of me chatting. Uh, let's just go over some of the stuff that the game offers at the moment. Remember it released today, so I'm sure there's gonna be bugs and things missing and content missing. So just frame rate, resolution, full screen, nothing else for video, audio. I turned the music down a little bit, it's kind of loud. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and play. And I guess we'll go with the with the campaign since I don't know what I'm doing at the moment. Maybe. Yep, there we go. Totally reminds me of Freelancer. Anyone ever play that game? Right, so we got some frame lag here. Could be there loading all the uh, loading all the assets, perhaps. Because this is, doesn't look like a pre-recorded video. This looks like it's uh, happening in real time, but not sure. Maybe the dev can answer that if he ever watches this video. Great spirits have always encountered violent opposition from mediocre minds. <laughs> I like that quote. <laughs> Son of a scrub sucker! Son of a scrub sucker! <laughs> this is all pre-played. I'm not doing any of this. Faulty dimwop converter. All right, my guy sounds like Search straight out of the woods. <laughs> Blazing a trail. Hey, I like how they did that. Show the episode on the ground. That's cool. And Pedocles 61 Sigini. Sigini? Signi? Signi. new data power? Signi. Get out of there, you rock crack. Okay. Let's see what we got. Set us tech. Incoming worm dispatch. Uh, oh, okay. I was, <laughs> I was sitting here like, uh, yes? Okay, so I gotta click stuff now. I gotta do things. I gotta be involved. Alright, B&M Designs, Low Gravity Mining Equipment Project Update. Serena, Lithobreak Research Opportunity. Alright, let's start with the uh, equipment. Dear Dr. Eli Cor uh, Corcoran, I hope this finds you well. We have completed phase two development of the mining equipment project. This includes preliminary designs for the ore extraction rover, multi-purpose transport rover, service and fabrication rover, destiny, uh, uh, sorry, excuse me, density, sifting centrifuge, and t uh, tiered storage structure. As per the agreement, the development will proceed to the next phase. Uh, please let us know if any of the issues, uh, please know if any issues that arise with the prototype equipment and we will address it as expediently as possible. And okay, so, all right. Ooh, this one has audio, let's play it. Eli, it's been a long time, years actually. <laughs> Did you even realize that when you wrote with a job offer for Todd? Not even a short note or hello for your only sister? Par for the course. Us fearlings don't interest you much anymore, even when we are family. I am glad to see your name has been cleared. That said, your nephew must decline your research and development offer. I think it's best we maintain our distance, don't you? Please eat something nutritious once in a while. You can't live on coffee. Serena. Says you. All right. So Serena wants Todd to work, just not for me. 
Okay, so this was a message to someone named Todd. Todd, my favorite no good only nephew. Time to get out of the basement and think about your future, kid. Remember the Mecca Battlefields game? You said that Cetus Tech programming could be integrated into Litho Break here at 61 Signi Station. Well, you were right, you little circling. Been integrating Cetus Tech for years now, and I want you to come make upgrades. Be just like building those Meccas, but in real life. Got plenty of coffee and a view of the moon you have to see to believe. Send me a yes, and I'll book transport immediately. The verse awaits, kid. Uncle Eli. Okay, we're all caught up on RPG elements. There's a log. This is what you do with your time? <laughs> Just because you don't play Mecha Battle doesn't mean it doesn't exist, Uncle Eli. I make some of the most popular battle designs in the verse, Ra. Hmm. Even if my team gets them destroyed. So you what? You d design the battles, the field? That what? Mecha's Ra. I design the Mecha. Hmm. Each one has parts made of different materials. Better the materials, stronger the mecha. Better the design, better the performance. But designing good parts with the built-in CAD tool takes time. And credits, raw lots of credits. Hmm. Well, that almost sounds like engineering. You're a surprising little feeling, aren't you? You know, most players don't design, but I like it. Hmm. You should use mecha to help out Lithobreak. They're more of a software company than game developer, if you find the right programmers. Well, I'm not sure our simple moon mining tech is compatible with a video game, or even of interest to them. Give them a chance, Ra. It's called Seas Ra. Tech. Check them out. <laughs> I'd rather give you a chance. Get your engineering degree, and I'll find you a job. Sure, Ra. Whatever. All right. Hey, dude, I, I gotta say, for a game that has absolutely nobody playing it yet... Uh, he's done some serious work. I mean, he's got voice actors, got a little story going on here. I love that. Love the story elements. And, oh, that's settings. I don't want to mess with that. Okay, so, objective, uh, press tab to toggle tablet focus. Did my sister even show the kid the offer? Okay, so, I just press it. I don't have to hold it. Um, click or use E key to activate. Uh, I guess it is activated. That's what the little arrow is. Okay, so I need to make coffee. This is important if you're an engineer. I am an engineer in real life, and I could tell you caffeine. Proximity to kitchen is insufficient. Proximity to kitchen insufficient. <laughs> yeah, there. Okay, there it is. I'm gonna say that whenever I'm hungry. Okay, those look like coffee beans. Um. Coffee, coffee, different variants of coffee. Okay. Ah, okay. Incoming e from Janice at Cetus Tech. Play message Janice, from Janice. Janice, Janice. What are you up to today? Play message from Janice. Okay. What you got to say there, Janice? Eli, hope this finds you well and not too badly singed from whatever you're working on these days. Enclosed are the latest updates to the communication system. Be aware it will require any existing systems to be retrofitted. Upgrades to the mixing and sifting integrated software are included. This initiation should be very helpful to you and set you up for the time to come. I worked able these to put enhancements my... myself. Oh, sweet, it plays when take I put my tablet down. For me. Sweet. And take care of you, you old ray tracer. Janice Barnes, Automation Systems Lead, Cetus Tech. Okay. I really like the story elements. That's really cool. All right, so let's go to our objective. We listen yeah, to never that. Gets personal. Huh. Holy Updates. crack. That's a massive file. Not many of us even have this kind of capacity. Okay, so we're going to install our updates. This coffee is endless. Hi, I'm Sarah, your new AI assistant. By installing this system on your device, you have agreed to all terms and conditions. Beginning assessment to fully assist you. So far, so good. Analyzing financial history. What the, sir? Accessing station infrastructure. Firewall established. Reconfiguring local network. Overriding all control. Oh, whoa, whoa, darling. You gotta earn that kind of trust. You're a rookie. Pausing assessment. Oh, yeah. My algorithms have been heavily scrutinized to avoid harm or unwanted circumstance to my user. Further, I am rigorously tested prototype software. Also, I have a nice voice. 
Yeah, I admit it's a very nice voice. Okay. But Authorization acknowledged. Continuing. Constructing preferences. <laughs> capturing facial likeness. Assessing the situation. Uh, generating actionable items. You, you seem nice, but this is moving a little fast for me. Shall I send relevant equipment to the moon's surface for testing? You scanned my personal notes? Only for your convenience. I am here to assist. Send all equipment for testing? I mean, why not? Well, okay, for now, but we need to set some boundaries. Sending down now. Activate the console. Okay, I think I saw the dev doing this in my really quick peek. I didn't want to watch his stream too much, just because I want to experience the game as a novel experience. Novel, you know, to like proceed, the coronavirus. please boot up console. Okay, activate the console. Is this the console? I think it was this. Oh! I'm now in an RTS mode. Please okay, test newly enabled operations. WSAD. I will remain in test mode. No lunar action will be taken. Sarah, you little speed cracker, all the new parts are on the moon's surface. That was fast. I'm here to help. These parts are necessary to regain stable communications with the mining equipment, a necessity for our oh. ongoing research, am I right? Well, right, but let's agree that stretching my finances was screen. not necessary. That's what we call a boundary, okay? And okay, did I hear zoom. you say I'm? Since when does AI use contractions? Sarah? Ooh, mystery. Every building is made of parts. Every part can wear out. Use the top UI to select the comms tower for placement. All right. Comms tower. Leading the way. I don't know. Does it need to be far, close? Just need to be up on a hill. Okay, well, we're gonna we're gonna place it fairly close for now. Every part is made from a material. Materials can be pinned to the bottom right UI. Set the miner to collect basic regolith material. Uh, okay, so I assume that's the miner. He is going to. It may take time for the auto maintenance to complete the build. Is basic the task, or is he doing basic things? I guess basic is the task. So he's collecting. Uh, I know that's iron and O3 oxygen. That's AL. Is that aluminum? I thought a AL means something else. Okay. Silicone and O2. So basically uh, glass, iron, and possibly aluminum, though I may be... Okay, now I'm not sure what the slider is, but we'll, I'm sure we'll learn that later. Place a powder printer for construction. Uh, powder printer. It's probably a production thing. Yeah. Um, okay... I assume red means it can't be placed. Let's, Let's set up some storage here. before making more advanced materials. Buildings can be configured during construction. Drag the material gathered by the miner to the powder something. This is... What in the world? Okay. Where is my miner at? Jeez. What are you doing out here, dude? Okay, but I have to drag it to the thing. Okay. Okay, I did drag the material gathered by the miner to the... Oh, ah, mm-hmm. We're learning things, guys. We're, we're, we're knowing things now. All right. Poor quality material with low properties can only make select parts. Set up the warehouse. Uh, sifter and common parts for production in the powder printer. Set up... Okay, let me read it. Set up warehouse, sifter, and common parts for production in the powder printer. Okay, so do I click it? Warehouse. Sifter. Do I hit? Oh, I hit the check mark. Got it. Okay. Check mark. Warehouse, sifter, and common parts, which include buffer base, buffer wall. Okay. We'll, we'll learn that stuff later, guys. Start constructing a warehouse. I like, I kind of like the micromanagement aspect. The uh, Hearts of Iron lover in me really likes micromanagement and every other paradox game or battle goat game start constructing warehouse all right enough talking storage okay warehouse we'll put you right by that in thing. order to separate materials more infrastructure is necessary place one sifter uh what was that processing okay uh you know it'd be nice if there's tool tips when you mouse over this stuff that'd be pretty cool all right so we'll put it right here Factors that contribute to material properties, material purity, higher average properties by volume. Produce a ceramic material with over 700 
uh, kilopascals, maybe KPA kilopascal area K compressive. Nah, I don't know. All right. Um, produce a ceramic material with over 700 KPA. How do I do that? Ah, it's too bad the dev isn't watching. Maybe he could explain it. Okay, we're going to try to figure this out, guys. I believe in myself. Ceramic material would be regolith would be needed for that, I assume. But it needs a third item. So this... I, I don't even know what I'm doing. Okay. 700 KPA. <laughs> Where's the KPA? Oh, it's right here. Okay. Alright, we're gonna go for the best of the best. Okay, I don't really know what I just did because there's not tons of tooltips yet. But I think I just put in a third ingredient. Oh, I see. I see. So I'm using the top 5% of either of these ingredients, I guess. And then over here... If I increase how much I'm making per hour, the quality goes down. Okay, I get that, sort of. All right, use the sifted material to produce silo parts requiring better material properties. Construct a second powder printer. Okay, uh, production printer. Uh, is there a way to rotate it? Let me try R. Yes, there we go. Okay. But I'm getting red. I can't place it there. What if I try to place it here? There we go. Alright, so there's my second powder printer. However, it doesn't look like either of these things are built yet. Is that what that means? What is this guy doing here? He's making common part, warehouse, sifter. Okay, and I think those parts go into the construction of these sorts of things and I think this lit up area indicates how much I've built yeah maybe I don't know okay set up a silo set up silo parts for the for production in the powder printer so that's the sifter this is my powder printer so we're gonna do silo parts do I do all the parts I guess okay And this is my, probably my little construction dude. Set up silo parts for production in the powder printer. Do I have to do it here? Oh. Two out of four. Um, meaning, what is this? Hardness, compressive strength. Okay, so I'm making walls and roofs, but not whatever these are. I don't know why that is. Shoot and base. Am I missing something for the shoot and the base? What does it require? I guess that's where I'm a little, I'm a little fuzzy. A little fuzzy wuzzy. All right. So looks like our. So okay. So here's what we've got. We've got what looks like a builder of some sort and two carrier dudes, two dump trucks. Hmm. And who's this guy? Processing. Okay, what if I close that? Can I open up their info? Okay, there's the miner. And yeah, he's been putting his goods in there. However, it's not doing anything. It's a printer, but I what I need is a sifter. And in order to get the sifter, I have to print the, the parts, I believe is what that means. But I wish the sifter told me what parts I needed to finish building it. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Not sure. What is this, my coffee level? <laughs> so you got to refill on your, your coffee if you want to live. Okay, so that's... Oh man, I, I know that it's an early dev, so I'm gonna forgive him for this, but I hope that I hope that we get tooltips soon, because I don't know what any of this means. I'm assuming this means high high level material. This means not as high level, and this means like low, maybe? That's my guess. 
Okay, I don't know what any of these mean because they're grayed out yet. So instead, I'm just getting material in here right now. Hardness, metal, melting temperature, and compressive strength. Okay, so I don't know what is what is it doing exactly. Oh, geez. Uh, that was weird. I zoomed into space. It's because it's a skybox, I'm assuming. All right, so you guys are bringing the material. 366 kPa compressors. Where does it list how much he has? Oh, I think I figured out what these three mean. I think. I think uh, each of these is a different type of material. Okay. So what I really need... Oh, he's going out to gather more because he ran out. What I really need is another gatherer, perhaps? Okay, we finished our printer. This is good. This is, this is good. Let's go um, cheapy materials. And, oh no, he can't do that with cheapy materials. Okay, let's try not so cheapy materials. Yeah, there we go. Okay. All right, we figured it out, y'all. We figured it out. Okay, buffers can only be used to store material temporarily. Construct uh, buffers. What's a buffer? It's a printer. That's a sifter. Um, that's a printer as well. I don't know what the buffer is. I guess we'll figure that out later. Uh, construct and configure at least one silo using any material. Okay. So that would be storage, I assume. Yeah, silo. Put it right here by everyone else. It looks to be building. Zero. Zero meters cubed. Oh, that's what it can hold. Construct and configure at least one silo using any material. So we'll store the cheap material because it seems I'm gathering Eli, that. making and selling replacement rocket parts could provide income to fund our off-the-record experiments. How did you... You may be a program, but you're a little grifter, aren't you? Janice instructed me to assist in all of your legitimate development and off-the-server experiments. Hey, research I do is legitimate, but it would be nice if the board remained unaware of certain purchases and uh, activities. In order to separate materials, more infrastructure is necessary. Okay, set up all rocket parts for production. Part groups in the printer can be expanded to selectively uh, produce parts. If I click on printer, does... Okay, so here's the guide got it that would have been probably better had i seen that a little bit earlier okay printer okay each powder printer uses a single material the produced parts can be selected with check marks each part has a different material requirements and must exceed one durability value to be produced the internal material volume must exceed 90 percent capacity to start printing interesting how do i make that go away go away be gone Escape. Oh, geez, no, I don't want to do that. Get back. There we go. Okay, how do I get how do I get rid of the help menu? <laughs> right click. It's e maybe. No. No. We can figure it out. This that. Nope. Yeah, okay, I, I get it. How do I close the tips? Just the tip. Yeah, that's how I close that. I'm kind of wondering if there's an arrow I'm missing and it's like on the side of my screen. All right, whatever. Part groups in the printer can be expanded to selectively produce parts. Set up all rocket parts for production. So I assume that means I'm going to need another printer, doesn't it? Okay, printer. almost able to fit it this valley is not very conducive to building things there we go rocket parts production so let's go to rocket engine 
we're going to enable that and I assume we're going to need only the best see I can't see it because this freaking tooltip here and I don't know how to get rid of it there's actually voiceover yeah yeah there's there's voice actors and everything dude it's crazy all right um Let's see, if I put in halfway decent materials... Sarah, there I are laws limiting sweet. AI intelligence levels. Um, are you legal? Cetus Tech is keenly aware of the AI laws and the Kronos Initiative. Didn't answer the question. How very human of you. You are definitely pushing the boundaries of legality, aren't you, Sarah? Janice, you little tracer. Janice is not present. She is 127 light years away. <laughs> Ready to produce general spacecraft ah, products for immediate button. sale. Shall we proceed? Shall we proceed, though? I mean, it's, I haven't produced anything yet. I haven't even built it. I haven't built half of this stuff. Looks like this one is getting close to done. You know what I really need is another printer. Actually, no, I should stop myself. I've got like three now. I really need to ease off. All right, so silo, common warehouse, sifter. I need all those parts, I guess. So, wait, why does silo grayed out? Hmm. Am I building a silo that won't be done? I am. Okay, but I am also building the parts for it over here. So, I, I guess we're doing okay. Uh, let's find out where a miner is. And if I... Yeah, I don't understand the sliders yet. Let me see, is there a guide on that? Metals are a type of material made of small crystals, blah, 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 blah. Material properties are determined by the dominant crystalline material. Okay, now we understand that. Doesn't look like it's uh, been finished. That's okay. It's first day. Ground. Materials are part of the... Okay. They originate from a source and they're... Wait. They are buffered, then used in the system. Source carried to the buffer, which I assume is the sifter thing. And then from there, carried to the user, which would be whatever's needing it to build things. Ceramics. So, oh, here's the name of all the things. Silicone, iron dioxide. Okay, cool. Here's all the stats on what each material does. That's cool. Okay, we closed it. Um, I mean, I could search for off the Now those questionable wires, experiment expenses can be hidden from the litho break board. Congrats. Congrats? Right. Totally normal artificial intelligence speech. Eli, the legality of my programming is the least of your worries. A warp signature has been detected. Close approach. Identification, Virginus Corporation. What are those moheads doing near my moon? I advise visual confirmation. What does that mean? Step away from the console Look at that. It's got, the, it's got the 3D thing I can walk around. And it's got a strategy thing I can build. Incoming I mean, I vid calls from Alfred Weathers, member of Virginus complete, Corporation. Dang! That's some cool Station features occupant. for one guy building this thing. I am legally required to inform you of a satellite safety survey to better assess emergencies at your property. Alfred, you scrum sucker. What are you doing with a fleet of surveillance satellites over my moon? Just watching out for the verse and keeping an eye on an old lawbreaker. And what exactly do you think you're going to find? Who knows with your record? Oh, my name's been cleared. And you're the circling who falsely accused me in the first place. Do you expect an apology? Need I remind you that your collaborators at B&M are poaching my engineers as we speak? I have nothing to do with that. Why else would you decide to come back to my neck of the cosmos? Crack off! This is personal for me, Eli. One nanoprobe out of place and I'll blast it all over the worm net. You won't slip through my fingers twice. It seems I prudent to increase acting. firewall protection over the worm net. I wonder Shall where he I got proceed? his voice actors. Yeah. Probably fiber. Well, I need all the help I can get. Proceed and um, ensure anything leaving the station is encrypted for both our sakes. I'm happy to help. Well, there's that contraction again. I like it. The coffee is ready in the kitchen. Or feel free to go back to the console and continue to work. Uh huh. Thank you for playing. Oh, is this the end of the game? I mean, I know it's the end of the demo is the game also the same as the demo and you're just like paying to support the dev which i'm fine with too by the way because I mean, what he's made so far is hold on let me fix my mic it's gonna be kind of loud there we go i have a one of those standing desks so whenever i adjust it i have to adjust the mic how will eli fend off digital attacks keep sarah safely hidden and continue his off the books experiment to change the verse with 19 spy satellites in orbit 
around his moon in the station. Find out in episode two, coming soonish. Cool. Well, okay, so yes, I am the grumpy old man, Soggy. So that's that's who's talking is me. It's him. Him, me, that, whatever. All right, guys, so let's see. Well, that's, I guess, as far as we can get. Let me go back to the surface and see what's down there. All right, we're still building our stuff. It looks like our thing down here is almost done. Our printer is done. It's making rocket engine parts. And now we're just waiting on... All right, so, so far, I like what I see. Obviously, this is just a demo. This is, well, it's, I mean, I bought the game, but it, from what I can tell, if you buy the game on Steam, you're just buying the demo at the moment, but I'm assuming the demo is, that's as far as you're going to get, is just what's in the demo, whereas if you buy the game, as he comes up with episode two and he adds more content, you're going to be experiencing that as well, and the demo people will not. So oh, uh, in my case, it was only 20 bucks. I don't feel bad. Um, I, I, he hasn't earned the 20 bucks yet. There's more to experience before I think the game's worth that much. But if you're watching this and you like the idea of supporting a developer, it looks like he's by himself, supporting a single developer who is building a game by himself and I assume hiring at all the voice talent and all that cool stuff, then I do recommend getting it. What I've seen so far is very promising. This is really cool looking. I love the whole 3D station stuff and then being able to zip back onto the planet and do strategy level building. Uh, so yeah, definitely support this guy. Is this thing deploying satellites? That looks cool. I love the real physics look to it. He's got all his, um, what is that, RCS going. He's directing his direction with with uh, thrusters, very cool, very realistic, I love that. Not not so sci-fi as it is just science. Looks like he stopped, is he gonna deploy those satellites? Come on, let me see it, dude. Let me see those satellites, pop them out. All right, well, while I'm waiting for that, let me see if I can interact with anything else in here. All right, so this is a 3D map, can't interact with that. Uh, there's the airlock. Can I open that? Oh god, I can. <laughs> Deploy satellites on my planet, will you? I'll show you. I'm gonna kill myself, then you'll feel real bad. Let's close that. You'll remember me. You'll remember me as the guy who killed himself. <laughs> Holy crap, emergency depressurization, I can really do that? All right, well, before I do that, I better save. Before I murder myself. Let's save. Can I name my saves? Is there uh Nope. Cannot? Okay, that's okay. And wait, before before I kill myself, let's check one thing. I just want to see if he is deploying satellites, or if that's the end of his animation. That would appear to be the end of his animation. I could have swore I saw in the developer's feed this guy was actually deploying satellites, but uh or no, it was on it's on like the advertisement thing for the game. Is that what that is right there? Oh, he probably already deployed it and I missed it. That sucks. Oh well. Okay. Alright guys, there's only one way to end this video. And I think that's with killing myself. Right after I see what's in here. Oh no, that was the place that was on fire and I put it out. Okay. I already saw what was over there. Alright, goodbye cruel world. I'm now going to commit seppuku. Take the honorable death by vacuum of space can i open this while it's pressurized no i cannot all right please tell me i can depressurize oh no i can't oh man i can't kill myself dude if you can't kill yourself in the demo what's the point of living come on there's got to be something i can press kiln Certain death. I'm cool with certain death. I've lived long enough. It's a good life. Good life aboard this. Sounds like my guy is pretty old, so, you know, I'm good. And my little tablet tells me what everything is. Alright, so that's the kiln. Emergency depressurization button. Come on! Click, 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 click! Right, I guess I can't. Bummer. Can't turn station power off. No. None of these do anything yet. 
All right. Well, that was a bummer, guys. I wish I could have killed myself, but oh, oh, what is this? What did I just pick up? I don't know. What is that? Uh, it's ID. Is this like a locker? Weapons locker? Why would I need weapons in space? Open, close, description. Okay, he doesn't have any info in there yet. Oh, shoot! I almost closed myself in the closet. Alright, I, th I think I have seen everything I could see up to this point. So, as you can see, it's it's an early game. Really early game. And from what I can tell, it's it's made by one guy. He's doing a great job so far. Especially having all the voice actors and everything. That's That's nuts, dude. I've tried to hire voice actors on places like Fiverr for my book and uh, it was not cheap let me tell you um, okay all right yep that's that's everything I can do so until we get more content guys I'm gonna end the stream there and at least you've seen all that the game has to offer which isn't much but again if you want to support the guy you know that I'm sure he would appreciate it and I think this game looks really promising so that's what we'll do all right guys take it easy I will see you all